Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to get into my retail therapy for the month of September. And if you haven't seen any, any of the, my previous videos, I started this a couple months ago. Basically, it's a collective haul for the whole month and any of my empties and if I have any fellas that I wanted to express. Um, so, just a fancy word for haul. <laughs> so, the month of September, I didn't do a whole lot. Um, I did enough in August, so I backed up a little bit. And I know I backed up at the time that they had the Sephora VIB sale and also the 21 um, day beauty sale. But, you know, sometimes things just happen to roll the way they roll. So, let's just jump on into my very, very small retail therapy video. <laughs> So the first thing that I got was um, this Milani Pure Passions. The Walmart by me had been sold out of this for a very, very long time. So the one time I actually saw it and it was only one there, I just went on ahead and got it because I really, really wanted it. So that is what she looks like. And it's not like I don't have these colors. But anyways, I got this. <clears throat> And then the one thing that I did get from the 21 Day Beauty sale, because I really wasn't intrigued with most of the stuff on that sale, um, is when Tarte had their um, quick dry lipsticks on sale. Jeez, can I get it out? Um, they were being kind of like a little stingy with this. Talking about a two, two limit per buy or per person or whatever if you have just me ranting just a little bit if you have a sale that's coming out my thoughts in my back in the back of my head are to be totally totally prepared um you did these the last time for the 21 day beauty sale and, and it looked like it went fairly good otherwise you want to put it again so I just feel like you should be prepared in the store to have enough to go throughout the whole day. Just saying. Just saying. So they had a two limit, which that kind of bothered me. I mean, in a sense it bothered me, but then in another sense it was like, okay, it's kind of good because I didn't need to go crazy anyways, even though I wanted to go just a little bit overboard because these are my favorite liquid lipsticks. Not that I've tried a whole, everything, but they're my favorite. So, long story short, I got the color in Cheerleader, which the packaging is like bright pink, totally not the color of the lipstick. It is your true red. And then I got Front Row, which I've been wanting this shade for a very long time. And this, honestly, is my perfect nude shade. Like, perfect. It is not too light, not too dark, and doesn't really like it. You can see it on my lips, so I like front row. And then we have extra. So extra is, I think cheerleader was more like your cherry. Sorry, extra is more like your red red. And I'm gonna um, show swatches on my hand. And then, um, but the purchase of like, I think, well, they had a gift for purchase over a certain amount with Tarte. So they gave me this, which gave me samples of their um, double duty foundation, the, the matte one and the hydrating one, a mascara, man eating mascara, the sex kitten liner and then um samples of the Tarte tape shape uh concealer these shades of the foundations none of them match me they're all too light so i'm not able to use those which you know it's a bummer because i at least wanted to see i wanted to try them and whatever and then the Tarte shape tape all the shades are too light in that so i'm not able to try that either because i still this um, concealer has been out for a very long time and I still have not tried it. Um, I do like the mascara. Um, I think I still like the lights. 
camera light slashes foundation better but I do like that and I do like the liner so I am able to try two out of the five <laughs> so that was free for you to try some things okay. out so the last thing um, that I got for this month was from the Sephora VIB sale um, I didn't indulge and I but I did get something that I have been wanting for a very long time and that is the Viseart Dark Mats palette. I thought it was perfect to get this because A, it was already on sale. And then on top of that, you add in the sale from the VIB, uh, what is it, um, appreciation sale. So it was perfect for me to get this. I've been wanting this for a very long time. Mine, unfortunately, did come busted. Um, the orange shade right here was out of the pan and is broken slightly. And when I opened the packaging, um, it was all over the place. Um, the pack, how it was packaged was kind of like question mark. You got this really huge box. Nothing was around this block, you know, to help it from being broken. And, you know, you shade the box. Of course, it's going to move all over the place. I contacted Sephora. They were super um, sweet in the combination, a combination for this. However, you know, you get a product, you're kind of like, you really want it to not be. I know it happens, but the packaging could have been a little bit better to help from breaking it. But that being said, Sephora was very nice about it, and I'm like kudos to them. I'm very happy how they handled it, and they're good in my book. I'm a little still a little scared to order something to be mailed to me from here on out because at first they was really really like I had no problem. I had problems with Ulta's um, mailing, but Ulta's gotten better and Sephora slipped so. Me don't know, but um, that is actually it for my retail for retail therapy for the month of September. I actually did not have any empties for this month, which is a bummer. But anyways, we have good old October on the corner, so I will see you guys in next month's retail therapy. And thank you for visiting my channel. Stay for a while, show your girl some love, and I'll see you in the next one.